Hey, how's it going, everyone? Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review. And I'll go ahead on down to it. Uh, today's game is Arcan the Dog Adventure. This game is available on various platforms the Xbox systems, the PlayStation systems, the Switch, and the PC. I'm basically going to start off with the graphics. And graphically, like the character of Arkan himself, he's basically the dog warrior tasked like, to take out various enemies and, like in this puzzle platformer game. I mean, detail-wise, I mean, yeah, the sprites in the, like, in the environments themselves, you know, kind of reminds you, like, of the 80s and 90s, especially, like, on various computers and uh, old console systems. I could see where the developer was going for in, in that look and that feel of it. And, of course, I'm going to move on to the gameplay. Uh, gameplay-wise, uh, this game combines two genres, platforming and Arkanoid style. For those who don't know about the Arkanoid game, it's a puzzle game, basically, you you move your uh, your character from left to right, and you shoot a ball, and you try to take out as many blocks. And, and of course, at the at the end of the end is enemies. Once you take out the enemies out, you move on to the next level. So basically, like, the farther you go, the harder it gets. You know, and then the more enemies you got to deal with. It basically, you know, that's like that kind of style. They got a gameplay that goes there, but but usually, like with Arkanoids, like. You know, the character of the slider moves, you know, from the bottom, from left to right at the bottom. It's basically vertical, but basically what this game is basically horizontal. Basically, you take your character Arcan, you start off like you can shoot your ball out. You got to take out all these blocks, but however, you got these enemies that shoot projectiles at you. And basically, you don't want to take a lot of damage. If you take a lot of damage, it's basically game over and you got to start all over again. Uh, however, like... You got three different uh, difficulties when you start out. You got your easy, normal, and hard. Uh, basically, like for those who are new, I, I probably recommend the game start on easy to get the you know the hang of it and the feel of it to see what you need to do. And you feel like you're brave enough, like to move up to a challenge. You can go up to normal just to challenge yourself even more. But for those who want an extreme challenge, you can always try the highest difficulty. And so basically, uh, you get like different moves along the way, like. You get your basic jumps with the left stick. Uh, your right stick, that's your action button. So basically you need to use that to hit the ball and, you know, combine the trajectory. You know, basic geometry, you know, trying to hit the angles. Like that way the ball, they can, you know, hit different objects. They can take out the blocks where the enemies are hiding behind of. So basically, like, depending on how many enemies on the screen, you can take them out before advancing to the new stages. As I mean, starting off, uh, fun factor-wise, uh, this game is pretty fun, like, all uh, for... Like, especially like for younger players, like, who love, like, genres like this, like, the old school feel, like, jumping on different platformings and try to hit the objects to take out enemies at the same time. But, uh, however, like, for defensive purposes, you can always teleport you know, in case you feel like you're in trouble and you can slow down time and you can also disable at the same time. So, I mean, it can get you out of hairy situations, but, but usually, like, after a while, like, the novelty kind of wears off unless you're playing on a higher difficulty. Just to get, you know, keep your on your toes, like that way you can keep yourself entertained a little bit longer. So now, down to the score. I give this game a 3.5 out of 5. For more news and reviews, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications.